29th of March 2018. Okay, this is a uh, male, not muted, 11 years old. Uh. No, the dog has not been able to stand up on four legs, right? Yes. Since one and a half years ago? About that. Okay, now when the dog is not able to stand up on, on four legs, the problem normally lies with from this part, the spinal area from here to here, normally. Uh. If, if the spinal slip disc is from from here to here, then the dog will be able to stand on the front legs, but not able to stand on the left legs. So basically the diagnosis is, if the dog is not able to stand on four legs, the, the, the spinal disc or slip disc is from here at the neck, down to here, about the rib cage. Okay, and uh, now you can see, can, can you stand it off? So for one and a half years, he's not been able to stand up. Let me see. Eh? I'll be able to stand up, you see. So this is a case of not paraplegia, but it's a quadraplegia. Quadra means, uh, never mind, he doesn't like this side. Eh? Okay, he doesn't like to be on this side. He likes his favorite on this side, the, the right hand side. So this is a paraplegia. No, quadraplegia. Quadra means four side, four, four legs. Eh? So quadraplegia. Okay, okay, okay. So now I will just, just have a quick check on the spinal pain. You hold the armpit first. Huh? Now, normally, since the dog is not on painkillers, when I press the spinal area, you will, you will find that the pain is, is uh, more on this side rather than this side. So I start normally, I start from the neck here. Okay, wait, let me have the, the chest. Okay, you just see here. Uh? Ready? Okay, let's check. It doesn't have much pain now because it's been quite a long time. Okay, so not, not much pain, so we got the x ray. Now, the, the vet, the other vet, so the x ray now. This is the back area. Okay, so we look at the lumbar one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so lumbar one, two is normal, this joint. Two, three is normal, in intervertebral joint. Three, four is normal. Four, five is normal. Five, six is normal. And six to seven is normal. So, x ray wise, there is no slip disc on the back area and uh, we will see the other one the other view uh, the other view will be the ventral dorsal view now I will explain to the owner that uh, the disc you can see that is there is no slip disc from from the back area I will just enlarge it okay now, so this space is normal. Okay, L1, L2, L2, L3, L3, L4, L4, L5, L5, L6. The, the this space are all normal. And uh, look at the last one. They are all normal, the this space. Yeah? Okay, this is L, uh, L6. L six seven uh it's five six L four five L three four L two three L one two all these are normal so there should be seven lumber one two three four five six seven so so there is no slip this in the back but uh, there will be slip this in the front but the, the other vet didn't uh, take the front, I think because there was some miscommunication and he, he wants to take only four views instead of two. So, but you can't see clearly, but this is not the right view. But uh, you can see very roughly that this face is almost gone. You can see, right? There's no regular space here, there, you see? 
it's almost like fused. But because the, the vet didn't do a, the correct way, in the sense that they have to <coughs> show the whole whole uh, run. So you can see that, uh, okay, even here, this is not the proper angle, but you can see that the D space is, is already there, very narrow. But uh, the vet should have taken, the vet didn't want to, to, to take this front view because <coughs> the owner wanted two views, but the, the vet took uh, the back view, which you can see is quite big and spacious. This is a normal D space there. Although there seems to be some narrowing here. But overall, I would say that uh, they are okay, the, the displays. Uh. Anyway, the best is to look at the dog. You can see that it's paralyzed on the four legs, uh, paralyzed on the four legs. So definitely the, the problem is more to the front. So now, uh, so what, what you want to do? Just give the food and, and prevent pressure sores and uh, animal if the dog cannot, cannot pass motion, but the dog can pass urine well, right? Yeah. Just um, control or not control? Uh, when he wanted to urine, he, he will ask you give signal. Yeah. Then you bring uh, bring yeah, him. Like sometime, not in time, then you just... Yeah. Mm. So you bring him to the place <coughs> and he will urinate? No, no. So you huh? just put him under some newspaper. Mm. Yeah, that's urine. Okay. So some owner they just wear the pamper. Of course, pamper is easier. They just wear the pamper and the dog urine it. But they have to clean up properly this area, prevent any sores, uh, urine scorching because the urine is quite acidic. Uh, quite mm -hmm. So they got to wash it, wash in warm water, uh, once a day, and keep it clean and dry. Uh, this part is a bit urine scorching quite now. Uh. Other than that, because now the dog doesn't like to lie on the the other side, yeah. so so uh, that side will get pressure sores. Mm -hmm. That means it goes to the bone, they will get pressure sores. So that is the thing she has to look out for. And then also, the dog must drink at least at least 150 ml of water a day, 24 hour day. Yeah. Not mm -hmm. just 50 is how many syringes? One syringe is three ml. So if if it's a if it's a three ml syringe, huh, is is about 50. But mm -hmm. divided into 24 hours, huh? Okay. So uh, 150 to 200 ml. Oh, okay. Per 24 hours, or not 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 yes. per eight hours. So other than that, this dog can still live a very long life if uh, the pressure sores are taken taken care of, regular bath, clean up the, the mouth, and then uh, feeding good food. Now uh. mm -hmm. uh, this dog has a heart machinery, heart murmur, and I'm surprised that uh, he didn't cough. Huh? He didn't cough at all. Yeah. So most likely, the the heart will fail before anything else, and uh, this, this is most likely the the the, the cause of the heart. Uh, but he, he, if his heart is normal, he can live quite long, uh, maybe two years more, because he's only one and a half years, right? And he's been quite well cared for, as you can see. This it's not emaciated. You can't see the ribs. That means he's uh, been properly cared for. Uh. So this all depends on the owner to, to take care. Huh? Understand. Oh, nursing. Okay. So for now, uh, nursing. Uh,